C.D. Lamb, Cowboys receiver. C.D., welcome. Appreciate it. Feel Second team All-Pro. Yep. Yeah, baby. On his way to first team All-Pro. Need, <laughs> need that first. Need that first. Right? Got any uh, no no you got any contract incentives as far as first team second team right now? Not yet. Nothing to do with it. Yeah. Not okay. yet. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do Maybe with it. in the next deal. <laughs> yeah, potentially. You're up for one now, right? Yep. Three years yep. in, you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good to when go. When are you gonna get it? I don't know. <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner the better is what yeah, he's yeah. saying. Hey. We all like money. <laughs> Facts. You know. Facts. Right. Right. All right. All right. So let's just ju let's jump off right there with what we saw. The Eagles, like, give us, give us the C.D. Lamb scouting report. What's the secret you think to kind of beat the Eagles and, and you know, maybe for the Chiefs to win this game? You got to be aggressive to them before they start getting rolling towards you. And I mean, granted, I see them twice a year, right. you know, so our approach is going to be a lot more different than sure. anyone like the uncommon opponent, should I say? So uh, as far as for us, it's about just going out there, being yourself, staying true to your, staying true to your game plan. Their D-line is going to be a D-line. Right. So regardless of the situation, you just got to stay true, stay on schedule, stay on time, and you'll be straight. You seemed like you you guys took the avenue of we think we can throw the ball on them, right? There's been mm -hmm. some talk. I don't know if you've heard that this week. Brandon Ayuk at the 49ers was like, I think the Chiefs are going to be able to throw. They can. Yeah. They and can. You, you, so you felt like there were some favorable matchups for you guys in that department? Most definitely. And uh, What was it exactly? It's really just more so the coverage, right? Um we like our matchups regardless of who plays us man, right? Right, um, yeah. nobody Dallas, can play you man. We not necessarily. Right. I like me uh, regardless. But right. um, it's – it's, and then you got guys like as far as in this game, in this game plan, you got – you just got you to gotta weigh your options, right? I mean, third – down and distance is important. Yeah. You know, uh, that all plays a factor in a, on how they're going to play you, you know, in a, in a situation to where, like, you got to play where everything favors yourself, you right. know. Take your, take your three yards. Take right. your five yards. You yeah, got to stay in third and yeah, four so facts. they can't blitz and that exactly. D-line can go crazy, crazy and all that crazy stuff. Crazy, bro. So that's what the lie. coaches preach to you kind of all week is stay ahead of the chains. You got to stay on schedule. Right. You have yeah. to stay on schedule. Right. I'm going to throw a quick curveball at you here because when you came into the NFL, Kyler Murray was lobbying for the Cardinals to draft you. You're close with Kyler. Mm -hmm. How's he doing after the tour in ACL and just kind of a weird year? I'm always concerned. I feel because I feel like he's like my son. Like I've right. always been concerned about Kyler and want the best for him and hope he's doing well. How is he doing now? Oh, well, man, uh, he's in great spirits. Uh, he's actually moving around, of course. But, uh, you know, as you could tell, he's a he's a competitor. Um, he already thinks he can run. He's He's trying to he's trying to be too ahead of schedule. I need him to you know relax a little bit, but definitely been checking up in in on him um, before our playoff game and everything. Just kind of making sure he's all in great spirit and that he is. How about your your own quarterback? Right, there was a lot of talk about him there. It was a little bit of a roller coaster ride there. Right. Dak, the passing game, all mm -hmm. of that. You. You know, where do you think his frame of mind is right now? I mean, do you think some of the scrutiny he gets is deserved? Like, how does that kind of play in the locker room? I wouldn't say deserved. I don't think anyone deserves the criticism that he gets. Yeah. And I feel it like. It goes too overboard. It goes, like, right. they're crazy, bro. Because if someone, if someone I don't know. I don't know. I mean, granted, he. It's the okay, Cowboys. Okay, I get one. it. Okay, right. right. So, if anyone, Dak wasn't the leading interception throw or whatever last year. And I guarantee you, whoever was did not get what he was getting. No, Matthew Stafford was, actually. And he won a Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> the interception thing's overrated. I'm, 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 That's I'm, not, bro. Like, he plays a great defense, right? So, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, it's football. A lot of other people get paid to make plays. But the way that he gets talked about is crazy. Like, it's, it's wild. Yeah. I don't think he deserves it. But Does I mean, it affect him? He a fool me. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> because the way he comes in week in and week out, regardless of the situation, it's all on. You can't think about last week. You can't think about last week. You got to focus on it now. You got to do, you know, be be where your feet are. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, and he's he's a big advocate of that. And he he's, I've learned so much as far as, like letting the past be the past and living in the present. I've learned so much from him just off of how he's performed this year. You know what I'm saying? Just understanding like he he'll, he'll go through two picks here. And then the next game, he'll give you four touchdowns. Yeah. Like, it's crazy, bro. And that game against the Buccaneers. Right. That was Phenomenal. as good as he's ever looked. Right. That's that's the crazy. I mean, just seeing how the media react to to Dak is, is one of the funniest moments, quite honestly. It's just, I don't I don't say much, but I, I see a lot, right? So, yeah, right. Just looking, I, I watch how he play. Of course, I'm there, but 
I go look at the I go look at the media. Everybody's dag this, dag that. I know. A, after a good game. Yeah, I got you. No, listen, I, we're, we're ones that'll be yeah. there that are defending him a lot of the times going, we, yeah, we don't really crazy, get it. Bro. It'd be, it'd be, and then I, the next week, I see the same names. Right. Kind of weird to me. Weird yeah. energy. I hear you. There's a little hater going on there with Dak Prescott. I don't really get it either. We kind of, I think, you know, and, and not to say he was perfect all year long. Yeah, we know he had all. some bad games, whatever, but uh, I hear you. It goes overboard. All right, so let me ask you this too, because this is something we talk about a lot as well. Like your owner, He's awesome. Mm -hmm. We know that. Absolutely. But do you guys as like a team feel the pressure, you know, that, hey, Jerry's getting older and he's getting desperate <laughs> and, you know, he wants one. I mean, we feel it. I feel like in our business, does, does the locker room feel it? We want one for him. I know. It's not yeah. like we just going to go out here and be like, oh, yeah, we're going to blow this game. Sorry, fellas. It's a new season. <laughs> we're just going to blow this game and it's going to be in a division round again. So just get ready. Yeah, nah, that's never the case. But, uh. Just always just being out there, understanding the situation. Like, bro, we we haven't had a Super Bowl come through here since 1993. Yeah, I see this. 95. See this. Five. Yeah, I'll Five. get you right. Don't worry. No, I just I'm not even gonna snitch on nobody. But someone just told me the that. 93. Don't worry. I'm, I, okay. I, was I, was thinking, I was thinking five. Lots I was of money thinking, to be the expert. I was expert, thinking so five, but <laughs> it was before you were born, so it someone, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was obviously. Well it was actually here in Arizona. They beat the Steelers Super Bowl 30. I was here as a 15 year old kid. Way to tell on yourself. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I was that. 30. I dig that. I dig that. But uh, yeah. most deaf. We got a, We got Dallas deserves one, and I don't think it's a city out there that you know really deserves one even more. I mean, we got everything we need. We have the players, we have the coaches, we have the plays. Yeah. It's all about us going out there and actually beating whoever we play in the division around, move on, and then continue our legacy. Forty yeah. Niners each of the last two years, the final game in the postseason. Which one hurt a little bit more? Second one. Why? Divisional. Uh, it was my first Last time year there. was a wild card, right? Yeah, yeah, the second, the second. I mean, they both hurt. Don't get me wrong. I hate losing and I hate not, you know, going to the big game. And it's the second time I've been in the playoffs and not been able to, you know, get a stretch going and losing to the same team. Um, and they always say it hurts the farther you go too. The deeper does. you go, it does. It's just it a it, lot it's worse. Like, like, you're working extra hard for something that you're so close to, you know. What about them is that gives you guys an issue? Like, what, what is it about? I mean, I know they're talented just like you guys are. Right. I feel like that's the, that's the, if any team would match up with us, well, it would be San Fran. I yeah. Mean, you go look at their roster, you go look at our roster, it don't get no better than that. Right. A lot of freaks on the field. Most okay. Definitely. Since yeah. we're talking about that game, please explain to me what uh -oh. the hell was happening on that last play. What would, was supposed to happen? I got a question. What did you want to happen? <laughs> well, I yes, wanted get him, a touchdown. All right, we're trying to get a touchdown. <laughs> All right, but but I've yes. never seen. I was called the Stanford Band play. You're familiar with the Stanford Band play from the Cal Stanford game, 1982. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it never got going. Yeah. What was going to happen after they, Turpin caught the ball? They really, they really switched, right? So we had the coverage we wanted. They called a timeout because it was really, it was looking actually pretty good to get going, and then they went man to man. So right. as soon as we got the ball started, they made the play, and it killed everything. Right. right. It just looked weird because Zeke Elliott got pancaked exactly. snapping the ball. Exactly. And, but yeah. Zeke, Zeke was going to get taken out regardless. Zeke was a blocker. He wasn't even going to be a part of the play. So, oh, where, was, okay. where, so where was Turpin throwing the ball? Where was he? What gonna, was he going to do if he had? He was going to beat Turp until Turp ran out of juice, and then we we're going to just get going. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like, He's telling you to shut up. He was going to go as far as he could. He was going to well, toss just, that damn thing. I'm just, right? I'm just, no, no, no. I love the idea. When I saw Zeke playing play. center, I love the play. idea. But Jimmy Ward just shut that down. <laughs> All right. Now next. Now is the important part. All right, I know you can. You went to Oklahoma. Do, 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 <laughs> Yeah, you know it. <laughs> All that crap. All right. That damn school. I'm so sick of you guys. All right. All right. But you're doing awesome playing football in the NFL. You're one of the best receivers in football. But I don't know about your game selling Old Spice, so let me see that go right now. Man, come on. First of all, <laughs> you don't have – you're going to have a lot of people in your corner tell you a lot of great things, right? You'll have someone – but you're never gonna have anyone that really tell you that you're kind of, you know, you ain't smelling, you ain't smelling too good, like you know that you normally do. And Old Spice got this new deodorant with the swagger. It gives you, you know, it's very long lasting, 
You're maxed out on swagger, though. Yeah, most this, yeah. But I got to have a smell with me, too, to top it off, you know? So mm. just definitely you got to involve that. And Old Spice is definitely get you right. Yeah, it does. I'm a big fan. In fact, my pits are sweaty right now. Yeah, and thank I, you. You, everybody you, out there you might need some I do. I, I smell good. I've been nah, sitting next to him all week. Hey, CD, I've been sitting next to him all week. He does. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you root for on Sunday? Do you root for anybody? You got Jalen Hurts playing, and but it's the Eagles. Eagles. Oh, it's confusing. I don't root for nobody. I'm just watching the game. Right. Well, Do you will watch the game, though? A lot of times guys I'll just want to watch. Even watch. I'll watch the first half and then watch Rihanna and then I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm sure as hell I'm going to – I'm sorry, excuse my language, but I'm oh, going to figure good. out. I'm yeah. going to know who's going who's to win a Super Bowl, and congrats to them, but don't care. Yeah. Damn, is it just because you're just bitter or you just don't want to watch it right now? A little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of both. All right. I like that attitude. I'm down with that. Well, hey, CD, we appreciate – some of your time. We appreciate what you do. Thank you. We hope you get rewarded appropriately this offseason. Oh, he will. Appreciate it. And appreciate we, uh, it. we hope to not see you next year. Please. Here. Seriously. As much as I like you guys, yeah. I hope I don't. I know you, you like me and him. I know you do. <laughs> but damn, come on, man. Make a run. Yeah, Let's fast. go. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.